Contact with the pilot shortly after he asked to fly on. Hello, viewers. We have just seen glimpses of a few television programs. They were mainly a news broadcast, sports coverage, a documentary, and some commercials. Some of these programs, like television serials, films, and skits, provide us much needed entertainment while some like news and current affairs give us information of what is happening around us thus television programs have an important role to play in our day-to-day -day lives as they are our main source of information awareness analysis and entertainment as we enjoy these television programs and savor the impact it has on our day-to-day -day lives, it would be interesting for us to know just how these programs are recorded and the equipments used. In this program, we shall try to educate ourselves on these lines. Video recording system is storing of electronic information on magnetic tape for recording and storing the visual and audio signals we need the basic components which are the cameras and the video tape recorders based on the format and improvement in facility of the equipment we can classify the formats of recording these are mainly the domestic the semi-professional and the professional or broadcast. For example, the one inch recording system consists of one inch recorder and one inch tape. The three-fourth inch recording system consists of 3 4th inch recorder and 3 4th inch tape. The half inch recording system consists of the half inch recorder and half inch tape. inch recording system is also inbuilt in this camera with a half inch tape. This is commonly used for domestic purposes. The V8 recording system consists of the V8 recorder which is inbuilt in this camera and an 8 millimeter tape. One fourth inch recording system is also available in the market. Let us now see the different types of cameras. The VHS and V8 type of cameras come under domestic type and have a single tube. 
a semi-professional camera like the LDK44 has three tubes and is used for studio recording. The professional or broadcast cameras like Bosch KCF1 and JVC2700 have three tubes and Sony DXEM7 and Sony CA537P have three CCD. Let us now see the essential features, parts and operation of the camera. Basically, camera consists of camera body, zoom lens and viewfinder. The supplementary camera accessories are tripod attachment or base plate, tripod or stand, spreader or dolly, and for audio recording the microphone is attached with the camera. The camera body consists of electronic package which controls the functions of the camera in receiving the image. A handle is provided to hold the camera, avoid shake and maintain horizontal and vertical composition for framing. Remote connector. Here the remote cable is connected as output of the camera which ends in the input of VTR for recording. Microphone holder. This holds the microphone by which the microphone receives the sound of speaker or the atmosphere in straight angle. A battery is inserted inside the body which provides the power to camera for operation. But a power pack can also be connected with the camera for the supply of power. Viewfinder this consists of eye cap, lens and screen. Eye cap. The eye cap protects our eyes from getting hurt and gives smoothness while contacting the viewfinder with the eyepiece. The lens magnifies the image of the screen. The screen gives the actual image which is composed by the cameraman. Zoom lens. This consists of lens hood, zoom remote control connector, focus ring, iris ring, motorized zoom switch and VTR button. Lens hood. The lens hood protects the lens from rain, sunlight and clashing with other objects. Zoom remote control connector. The zoom remote control connector gets the output from the zoom remote controller for controlling the zoom lens. Focus ring. This is used to adjust focus by turning the ring so that a clear picture is obtained. Iris ring is used for manual iris adjustment and by turning this ring 
the needed aperture or iris is obtained. Motorized zoom switch. This is used for auto zooming and also fast zooming gradually without a jerk. VTR button is used to start or stop the recording from the camera itself. Thus, we have seen the basic and important parts of the camera. Let us now see the operations, parts and essential features of the video tape recorder. The video tape recorder or VTR consists of VTR body, panel for operation and panel for connectors. VTR body contains the electronic package which controls the recording system that is packed inside. The front panel. This consists of the panel for operation function, adjustment function and display function. Operation function. These are the functions of record, play, stop, eject, key in he, pause, audio dub, search, fast forward and rewind. Adjustment function has the area of adjustment in the level meters for audio and video, power switch, audio level controls and so on. Display function panel. This consists of display window, warning lamp, reset button and display selector. The remote cable has two ends. One is to be connected to the camera and the other to the VTR as output and input respectively. For viewing the recording program, the VTR may be connected to a monitor at the time of recording. Thus, we have seen the video recording equipments, features and the essential parts. Let us now see the operation of the video recording system. At the time of recording a program, the video recording system is prepared or made ready. First, the camera is connected to the VTR through remote cable from the output of the camera to the input of VTR. When recording, the camera may be attached on the base plate of the stand or handled on the shoulder of the cameraman. Now the camera is switched on. Based on the type of color temperature of lighting situation, the filters are changed. The black balance and white balance are to be adjusted for getting proper color balance. Iris is opened and corrected for getting adequate light level with the help of iris ring. Then the object or person to be filmed is brought to focus 
with the help of focus ring. At the same time, the VTR is also to be prepared for filming. First, the VTR is switched on for power that is obtained from the battery inserted in it or through the power pack. Now, the cassette in which the program is to be recorded is inserted in it. Then, from the front panel, the video and audio level is adjusted. The audio signal comes through the microphone and gives the output. This can now be checked. The VTR is kept ready by pressing the play and record button and then pause. Now the VTR is also ready for recording. When the recording starts, the cameraman by looking through the viewfinder composes the frame. The cameraman switches on in the camera by pressing the VTR button. Now the pause releases by itself in VTR and the cassette starts playing. The object or person's image is recorded in the cassette as per cameraman's composition. The shot is recorded for some time. Now, if the shot is over, the tape is made to pause by switching on the VTR button. For further recording, the process is repeated. Thus, video recording is done with single camera and portable VTR and this type of recording is called as single camera recording. Single camera recording may be done both indoors and outdoors. If it is done outdoors, it is called as ENG or electronic news gathering. Another type of video recording is that of studio recording with all sorts of modern equipments, facilities and functions. 
Mostly, this type of multi-camera shooting is done for continuous programs with different types of shots. An example of this type of program is cricket and hockey relay. So, in this program, we have seen the various formats of recording, various types of equipments used in video recording like cameras and VTR and their importance and functions. Lastly, we have seen the operation and handling of these simple equipments. We hope that this program would have given you a basic insight into video recording for both domestic and professional television filmmaking. Thank you.